Hey, I'm also known as Bog, and I've got another episode of What's in My Lawn Box. As I'm going through cataloging all my books, we're going to go through these. They're all mixed up kind of mystery box style, so it's kind of like fun to see what's in there. Uh, today, we're going to start off with Invincible, issue number 90. Love Invincible, one of my favorite all-time comics for sure. We've got um, AV, uh, AVX uh, Program Guide, free. Uh, which uses some of the art from one of the verses. I actually have the alternating art which shows them in contrast, but I really don't know what that is. It's probably some kind of promo or something. Maybe it was free comic book day. Anyways, then we're going to jump to FF, Future Foundation, issue number 15. We got X-Men Legacy, issue 262, an awesome road cover. We're going to jump over to, um, I believe that's Uncanny X-Men, issue number 500. That is a cool variant. That was during the Manifest Destiny run. Ladies of the X-Men, as it were. We've got uh, another variant. I believe that is the Michael Turner variant, perhaps? Nice. I'm just guessing from looking at the art. Let me look a little. Yeah, that's Michael Turner. That's sick. That's a cool book. I wonder I may have to look that up. I don't know what that's going for these days. Uh, we got another one, issue number 500, and that looks like it's a wraparound. We got another issue number 500. Jeez, how many copies of 500 did I end up buying, man? Totally is. That's a sick wraparound. I'll have to go in my other stack over here because eventually. I'm going to get clear backing boards for all my wraparound covers. I am a big fan of those. And let's just see. Oh, that's a cool variant, too. Let's. I'll talk a little bit about that one. That was a polybag variant. I'm not sure what the ratio was. Maybe 1 in 25 or 1 in 20. That is as is cool as that. It's an Alex Ross wraparound X-Men variant. That's sick. Love the Sentinels in the background there. That's a really cool cover. That's getting clear backing board at some point here. And then we've got Ultimate Spider-Man, The Death of Spider-Man, issue number 160. Uh, and this was a poly bag variant. Um, I actually had this sitting in one of my boxes for a while. And on the spur of a moment, I was going through a previous time. I was like, yeah, let's see what's in there. And I was surprised. It's actually a really cool cover. <clears throat> Got it. For, at least for Death of Spider-Man. I thought it was a good one. And since it's a kind of a ratioed variant, it's kind of cool. I like pulling, pulling odd ones like that from the poly bag. Here you've got the regular cover. I think that was just the cover A. Same poly bag and all. Oop, that one's actually got a poly bag in the back of it there. Oh, wow. I, that's, oh. I thought I might have two of those. That's going to make an issue because... Let's get a shot of my cool Thomas the Tig shirt. Boop. I got two of those. <laughs> this is actually in my pile. I'm getting ready to send off a bunch of books to CGC to get signed by uh, Bendis and Bagley. And I'm going to have to add this one to the stack as well. I think this one's actually in better shape. This one's got some crease and breaks I was a little worried about. This one's pristine. Perfect. That makes my day. I'm so happy I decided to film again. Uh, anyways, let's keep going. Ultimate Comics, The Ultimates, issue number one. Also a poly bag, apparently. We've got Ultimate Comics, X-Men, issue number one. I believe that's uh, now considered a key, maybe. First appearance of Jimmy Hudson. I might be wrong. Yeah, it's still got the poly bag in the back there. Uh, Invincible, issue number 88. Had to take on Oliver, his uh, brother, half brother. Got Ultimate Spider Man issue 125. An awesome Spider Man Venom cover going on there. Uh, Radiant Black issue number 10. Uh, that is the uh, Black Light variant. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, that means I've got some newer books in here. Oh, cool. Got uh, Black Panther issue number one. Alex Ross wraparound variant. So that's super cool. I do love those Alex Ross wraparounds. 
And then we've got Cosmic Iron Man. Uh, so just Iron Man issue number 14 here from, again, Alex Ross. And if I'm not mistaken, oh, come on, man. Put me back in the bag stuff. I don't think this one is a wraparound. Ooh. I got, I don't even know who the variant is on this one, but Marvel issue number 32, Miles Morales, uh, Spider-Man number 32, sorry. Uh, his brand new suit. Um, and I thought this was a really cool variant that showed it off. And that is not a wraparound for Cosmic. But kind of, I know there's a lot of those monocolor variants or the, I don't know what they're called, but I thought that was super cool. Oh, nice. And we'll end it with Good Boy. Issue number one, um, I think that's just the A cover, um, but that's a super fun book. It's John Wick, but reverse. The dog is going out for revenge. Anyways, make sure you check out akabog.com uh, for information about the monthly subscriber giveaway. Make sure you subscribe so you can participate. Subscribe to all the channels listed below to get extra entries. And otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you have a good day.